Hey, welcome or welcome back to At Bay the Library. It's your girl Lisa, and today I am here with a book haul. Um, over the course of November, December, and now into January, I have been gathering um, books from various different locations, different people, and I figured it was time to do a book haul. Uh, please be mine. I am under the weather. I am at the tail ends of a cold, so I'm going to sound a little bit muffled and a little bit crazy, but I had to get it done. Um, after I do this book haul, I am actually going to reorganize my shelf, so that's one of the next videos you'll see, because it's a new year. I am ready for a new look aesthetically. I'm ready for a new organizational system, and I'm ready to start knocking down some of these items that are on my TBR, because I can't keep buying and not reading. So, um, first I'm going to start with some of these packages I received in the mail today. Um, these are all books that I have bought from myself. So this first one comes from the book depository. And I used to buy that from them quite often. I received, for Christmas, I received a gift card for Amazon. So I was like, yep, let me use that immediately. Like, same day as of Christmas, purchasing books like crazy. So the first thing I have is Sweet Hand by NG Peltier. Um, I purchased this because I'm going to get a chance to meet NG Peltier at um, the Steamy Lit Con. I have been seeing this glorious um, Islander set relationship. I think that this is, um, has to center around food, its enemies or to lovers. So I'm very interested to see what I think of the, this book and be able to read it before August. Um, I'm going to try to keep my reviews quick and to the point because I've got quite a lot of books to go to and not a lot of time. Um, the next book I did purchase also for Steamy Lit Con would be The Intern by Serena Ackroyd. This is a male-male romance uh, between a boss and I think his assistants, which I always love. Um, I picked this up because I have never read from Serena Ackroyd and this had a lot of the tropes. I bought it secondhand, so although the cover's a little bit bent, it looks like there is it's a signed copy, so that's pretty cool. And I'll, I'll take this with me and hopefully get a chance to love it um, and pick up more from the author. Um, next I've got this box, so let's see what's in here. I don't even, you know how when you like purchase stuff, you can't even remember, um, what you ordered? So, uh, this is, oh, this is one of my favorites from the past year. This is Finding Jupiter by, uh, Khalees Rowe. This is a young adult romance that has some pretty severe topics. Uh, these two are, just met each other, but their family knew each other and had, uh, something that happened in the past that puts their families at odd. So I read this back in June, gave it five stars, absolutely love it. One of the few things that keep me invested in young adult romance. Um, I encourage everyone to pick this up. All right, now that I've gotten through the boxes, I will go with um, two things that are not romance. So two things that, I, that are outside of my romance or fantasy genre which would be the first one is The Girl with a Louding Voice by um, Abi Dare. Um, this is centered in Lagos, Nigeria. This is about a young girl who is, you know, dying to get to go to school, right? So in the United States, I am privileged enough to be able to get to go to school for free and also get the ability, like, it is a common thing right like it is a, just a part of everyday life in society whereas this young girl she has to fight for the ability to even go to school and I'm just interested to see the perspective of someone's life that is completely different than mine and um you know really value and get a better appreciation for what I had growing up um so this is high on my list to read um especially because it's not censored in the U.S. Um, now this one is Young Adult Fantasy, one of my top reads from last year, which would be Blood Scion by Deborah Falahi. Um, this was astounding. This has to do with a young girl named Sloane who is, who was picked to be a part of like a war or army camp and, um, she has the Arisha God's blood in her system, so she is a descendant of the Fire God, which is obviously taboo or forbidden. She would be killed if um, 
the Legion and the Army, the Lucians, actually found out that she was someone that had Orisha blood because they are trying to snuff all of them out, kill them and their lineage. And this is her fighting not only for her freedom, um, but fighting to make, um, you know, the lives of others better. And she also has, you know, a run in for the Orisha gods because they are pretty much upset with their blood lineage. And so like, Either way, she's fighting both battles and it all stems on her. I can't wait for the second in this duology to come out this year. I will be picking up um, as soon as it comes out. Next, we'll go into uh, books that were either gifted or shared to me. I won in a giveaway. So uh, the first one I got from the author herself, and that is Jillian Graves. Um, I got The Blood Moon. Uh, this is a vampire versus witch romance. It's like a enemies to, or rivals to lovers, actually. Both own nightclubs and are competing for business, but the vampire is, um, he's a psychic, right? So he knows every wish, desire, and fantasy of the witch, and he uses that to his advantage. So I'm excited and can't wait to pick this up. Thank you, Jillian Graves, for giving me the opportunity to win this. Um, next was uh, a book that I read, I actually won this month from Sarah Reads Romance um, on uh, Bookstagram. So this is from Luke Off With Love, which um, is my second Mariana Zapata book that I need to read. Um, I have All Roads Lead Here, and From Luke Off With Love is another one that had been high on my priority to read list. Um, I'm always afraid because it's a slow romance and it is a chunker, but this is... Um, enemies to lovers on ice, right? So you've got a um, hockey star and a figure skater, and the figure skater loses her partners for doubles, and so they task him. Um, and he's been pining and loving on her from years, but he doesn't know how to handle his emotions. So I'm very interested to pick this up. Thank you, uh, Sierra from Sierra Reads Romance. Go check her out. Um, the next two books I won from my friend, Julia, at Chicklet is the Shit. Um, so the first one is, it started with a list. Um, I actually have a couple of things by this author, uh, Tania Moniford. That I also have, it started with a dance. Um, so maybe I'll get a chance to kind of binge her back list. I think she has three books that are out, including It Started With a List. Uh, but this is a college romance about um, the star baseball player. I believe he's a baseball, not lacrosse. Yeah, star, star baseball player. Um, he finds out that this girl who he's kind of been um, sparring with, she's getting ready to graduate from college. She feels like she hasn't had the true college experience, you know. Um, you know, drinking, staying out late, partying, you know, whatever that college experience is, she feels like she hasn't had it. She's been pretty much focused on her books and her um, academy trainings, and she decides to come up with a list, and he lets her know that he'll help her check it off. Very um, Chloe, Get Alive Chloe Brown vibes from this one, so I'm hoping that I love it um, and can, can move on with her back list. Um, the next one, the next book I received from Juliet is All My Rage from Saba Tahir. This would be my first Saba Tahir book. I have, I, I've seen a lot of people love this. I don't necessarily know exactly what it's about, but I do know that it's a young adult um, contemporary. I want to say maybe romance. It talks about um, two people that are having young love and they are going against old regrets and forgiveness. Um, so I truly want to go in this, you know, with little to no information because I think Saba Sahir has a lot of heart-wrenching, impactful reads, and she is one of those people that you kind of want to go in blind so that way you can get the best and full experience out of this. So I'm hoping to read this very soon. I actually might read it in January if I get the time because I am a part of a book, book club that is reading this currently. So uh, thank you, Julia, for these two books as well. Um, lastly, from my Instagram pics, um, I have Kai, who sent me Revive Me, which is the second uh, book by J.L. Seekers. This comes after Restore Me, but you do get to meet Mallory and Chris, who are in 
uh, Restore Me, which is something I will be reading this month. That is my next thing on my bucket list after I finish Kennedy Ryan. But Revive Me, I believe, is a three-part series. It takes the journey of their relationship. So it is a second chance romance. I believe this two, um, this particular book, part one, starts when they first meet each other in college. Uh, but it starts from the premise of today and then it goes to a flashback and it talks about their romance before it breaks. So I am excited to read this again, hoping to read Restore Me and then jump right into Revive Me. So thanks, Kai. All right, now that we've gotten through uh, the books that I've purchased for myself um, this month, gotten through the books from Bookstagram, I'm going to talk about some books that I got in November and December um, that I purchased for myself and then I'll close out the video. So in November I went to Virginia for Thanksgiving and I wanted to visit McKay's books and I'm actually going to Virginia again this Thursday and so I'll probably go back to McKay's because I was so grateful to be able to receive a signed copy of Nicole's Falls most recent book. I think it came out in uh, February. Uh, this is We've only just begun, um, and actually, I don't know too, too much about it. I know that this center, this has the cheating trope, which I don't mind in its story, but um, obviously don't condone in real life. But this has, this deals with um, a female main character. Her friends bring her around this guy. She starts to fall and take interest in him, and I'm assuming, um, you know, something's not right in her current relationship, but... Something about this new guy has is a part of her past and has something to do with, uh, you know, what kind of led her to her events for today. And I think it has a mystery. So I'm very interested to see what the mystery and intrigue is and how they navigate, um, you know, respecting their partner um, while also exploring the relationship they have. So I'm interested to see this. And again, I was so grateful that I found it because it is a signed copy. Um, my next book that I purchased for myself, I have seen it all over YouTube. I've seen it all over, um, Bookstagram and it is Welcome to the Dark Side by Gianna Darling. Uh, this centers Daddy Zeus and, um, the reason why I call him Daddy Zeus is because this is an age gap romance between Zeus and Lulu. I believe this is the story, uh, again, they're all, um, the, this particular series centers a motorcycle club, but Zeus actually falls, um, you know, he saves Lulu when she's younger, right? So he saves her from a stray bullet. He actually takes the bullet himself, but he goes after the person that was trying to shoot Lulu as a child and that leads him to jail. Um, and they started to write back and forth with each other. They had a pen pal relationship because she felt so much gratitude for him. And as she grows up, she starts to experience a few things in her life, such as cancer. And, um, he helps her go through that. And he is a confidant and a friend for her in their pen pal romance. And now he's about to get out of jail and she is grown and they may or may not ex uh, explore a relationship with each other, um, you know, getting to know each other as now in a new adult environment and her having experienced so much of life. So everyone that has read this has loved him. Um, and I can't wait to say I love him as well. So very excited to jump into this one. My next book is actually my hands down favorite romance of 2022. I had to purchase it to get a copy so that I can have Amanda sign on it in August. Um, that is A Worthy Love by A.E. Valdez. I cannot stop recommending this. I can't stop talking about it. I can't stop, you know, you know, looking at it. This is gorgeous. This is Marissa and all of her curly head glory. But this is centering Marissa and she is, you know, graciously decided to share Asher Blaine with me. Um, at least in my mind, you know, he lives rent free and I'm okay with him, you know, sleeping next to me and not paying no bills. Uh, but he, that's not the type of man he is. Uh, anyway, Asher and Marissa have mutual friends in common. They never really liked each other, but lo and behold, you know, these crazy kids decide to get married in Vegas, but that was just a one night thing. They go on their separate rays, but Asher can't stop thinking about Marissa because he gets the opportunity to meet with her in Seattle 
and it is roommates to lovers it is enemies or frenemies to lovers uh this has you know just going through life journey and him being her rock and her in turn giving him the same support and you get to see so many real life situations that and even some extreme circumstances right so this has a lot of impactful like love right so marissa has gone through a breakup it really has scarred her and this entire book is showing is actually showing her that she is worthy of love so uh, if there's nothing else that I recommend to you, this is it. This is if you're asking for a 12 for 12 recommendation, this is the one I'm going to give to you five out of five stars. Um, the last two books that I picked up, I picked up from a suggestion doing the black indie romance books. So uh, the first one is What a Match by Mimi Grace. She is also going to be at the Steamy Lit Con um, in August. So this is Best Friend's Little Sister. Um, this particular female main character is searching for love, right? And she kind of ropes him in to help her find her Mr. Perfect. All along, it's probably been him. And it's that, that, that situation that kind of brings them together and realize, hey, look no further, I'm your man. So I am interested to pick this one up before August and hopefully we'll love it. Get into this cover. It is beautiful. And lastly is another stunner. Um, this is Worth It by Lady Marie. This is fake dating um, for wedding season. So I just, this beautiful black woman in her essence, and I can't wait to see, you know, how that fake relationship develops into real feelings and seeing them go to weddings and experience that love together, letting them know, hey, I can be that for you. So that is my final book. Um, again, I've got my book of the month coming. So I've got three more books. I'm going to order Black Cake, Hellbent for sure, and A Part of Your World. So I'll have to find space for that on my shelf. My next video should be, um, if it's not a Kennedy Ryan backlist vlog, it is going to be this bookshelf rearrangement so look for that for me coming up in the future if you've read any of these let me know um which one you've read and which one you recommend um if you don't feel like doing that in the chat leave me a leaf emoji for what a match and i'll see you all next time bye